Hey people, Epabot here, and in this video, I will show you how to use the new proximity prompt feature, which basically means that you can for example press F or E to open a door, so a very useful feature. But yeah, let's begin. First, I wanna mention, this is a beta feature, so it's not out, meaning you cannot use it in the real games yet. To activate the feature, open Roblox Studio, go to File, Beta Features, scroll down and enable Proximity Prompt. Then save and restart Roblox Studio. Next open a new place and we can use the feature. In this example I'm going to make the door I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to create a new part, name it door and insert a new Proximity Prompt inside the door. Now select the Proximity Prompt and open Properties. There are a lot of things you can edit, and now I'm going to explain you the most important ones. Action text can be for example open, pick up, close, drop or whatever. Enabled is whether or not we can use it or not. Gamepad key code is which controller button to use. Hold duration is of course how long you have to hold. Keyboard key code is which key to press on keyboard. Max activation distance is how far away you can activate it. An object text could be for example door, car, box or something like that. There are more things you can edit for example recording UI customization, but it is a bit more advanced so I'm not going to cover that in this video. Click the link down below to learn more about that. Now we can go ahead and customize the proximity prompt like I've been doing, and once it's done, you can go ahead and test it. We can see it's looking pretty good, but it doesn't do anything because we have no script. So, add a script inside the proximity prompt and type this. Basically, we are either opening or closing the door depending on what the action text of the proximity prompt is. By default it is open, so when you trigger the proximity prompt, the door's transparency will be 0.5 and can collide false, so we can walk through it. Also, now the action text is close instead of open, so next when triggered the door will close instead by changing the transparency and can collide off the door. But since the action text is now back to open, when triggered again, it's going to repeat the same pattern. So, as we can see, it works. Also, if you want, you're able to identify the player that triggered the proximity prompt. Just add a parameter like this in the function and you're good. With this info, you can for example print the name of the player, or for example teleport the player's character. Just wanted to mention this since the example did not have any use for this. Links to the entire model and for more information are down below. So that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like because that does actually help quite a lot. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos because I'm sure you will enjoy them as well. Thank you for watching and as always, have a nice day, take care. Also, let me know if you enjoyed my beautiful Halloween costume.